Hey, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. As always, it is Nick here, back with your daily crypto news and analysis. And today we're going to be talking about Hedera and HBAR, so let's just dive in. And let's start off with the 7 billion transactions that we recently just hit. Now, obviously, yes, we continue to make headlines in terms of the transactional uh, volume on Hedera. But I've talked about this, right? As we compare it to Ethereum, I don't really think that we should compare it to Ethereum all that much in terms of transactional uh, volume. Why? Uh, well, because transactions on Ethereum, I mean, you could technically make a transaction today and pay upwards of $100 plus for the transaction. When Board Ape Yacht Club released their um, their land uh, NFTs, I think it's what other deed or something like that. I, I haven't looked into it uh, in a while, so I kind of forgot the name. But when that came out, Ethereum was throttled hard and there's people paying like three thousand dollars to mint. So when you take a look at the transactional value versus volume, it is night and day. And initially on, yes, this will be FUD. A lot of people will say, well, the transactions are, are, are great. Like we're seeing a lot of network growth, but where's the network value? Where's the value coming in with these uh, transactions? And see, that's their goal. That's what they want to do. They want to have these transactions that are low cost because microtransactions, well, guess what? It's a huge market. But also this is very beneficial to anyone that wants to utilize the network. I've talked about this even in a call with an NFT artist that wants to mint on uh, Hedera. I was talking to them and I was discussing the idea on like why NFT artists are going to flood into Hedera very soon. And it's because they, uh, they will basically pocket more money on any mints, on any sales, transactions, etc. because they're not getting hit with massive gas fees. So in a way, yes, you know, as we look at these transactions, they're incredible. I love to see it. These numbers are awesome, but it's a droplet in a bucket. So as we do continue on, I do believe that these numbers are going to grow rapidly. And I'm pretty sure I quoted this. Um, I'm not too sure if it's going to show my tweet. But basically, all I said was I hope to see a lot more zeros added to these transactional volumes because we will see it. I mean, at one point in time, we will see uh, 10 billion, 100 billion, and possibly even 1 trillion before, I would argue like before 20, 2025, 2027 maybe. Like imagine we hit, so I said, I can't wait for the day that we start adding even more zeros to this number soon, um, because this is one enterprise grade application. And as you guys look at it right now, currently over on Metrica, the year to date, so in four months, we added about almost 5 billion transactions. So if we are doing that, that's almost 15 billion transactions per year currently. That's pretty big. But imagine we have you know, five or 10 applications live on the network. Like the upside on transactional volume is limitless, but we need to see value as well. So we need more enterprises, meaning yes, we will see, you know, trillions of transactions flooding over the Hedera network. But I don't want to really put a time frame on it. I just kind of say 2025, 2027, because I do think that by that time, uh, we are going to see a lot more regulations and things like that around uh, crypto, where we will see adoption of these networks within the enterprise, financial, institutional grade, and even the retail sector. Um, but also right now, we are currently still seeing quite a bit of demand. I mean, we added 187 million transactions in literally three days. So Again, the, the transactional volume is absolutely mind-blowing still to this day. But also, another great metric. So going back over here to Metrica, if we scroll down in terms of the account growth, uh, we have been absolutely killing the account growth. And recently, Dragonglass actually announced, boom, it's official, 2 million accounts on the Hedera mainnet. We hit 1 million accounts together in August of 2022, eight months ago. Next up, 3 million accounts in the next six months. Now is our time. See Hedera's growth on Dragonglass. And yes, we um, have been adding a ton of accounts recently. I actually remember when we crossed 1 million back in August. And not even a year later, we're already at 2 million. It truly is starting to... You, you can see the network blossoming. Um, a lot of people will talk about Hedera and laugh about Hedera and say, oh, this is going nowhere. It's going this, the whatever. But the truth of the matter is, 
this network is still in its infancy. We are still seeing this thing grow. They want to be a hundred year old company. So if you think about that, you know, like take a step back and realize just how early you are. Imagine like, think about it like this. It's like you're going to school with Jeff Bezos and you know him in kindergarten. That's basically how early we are on Hedera. And I know that that analogy is kind of comical, but that's basically how early we are. That's basically where we are at in terms of Hedera's growth compared to Amazon. And it really puts it into perspective on just what we have left to accomplish. Now, also over here in terms of the ecosystem, yes, the ecosystem continues to expand as well. We started to see a lot more names coming over. And by the way, for everyone out there that hasn't looked into it already, I highly suggest everyone go check out Galaxy. I actually just became um, a council member with them and it's for good measure. Listen, this is a project that I strongly believe in long term and I'm going to help actually provide a lot of value for the community. We're going to take community notes and things like that. I'm working with some other in incredible individuals. Galaxy is becoming a big one to focus on, especially around the creator economy and like the social media platform wise of like Web 3.0. I do think that this is going to be a big one, especially for Hedera. I talked to Solo. Honestly, as we do look at Galaxy and as we look at where things are headed, Galaxy is going to be one to watch for. I'm telling you, you could clip this, save it and come back. I'm telling you, Galaxy is going to be a big one. I, I, I put them up there with a lot of the other major Web 2 brands uh, that will ultimately disrupt Web 3. I think Galaxy could be bigger than pretty much anything out there, especially being built on um, Hedera. And then also over here, Dead Pixels. So Dead Pixels, incredible project over on Zeus. We do see, they don't know, I run on a network currently processing 700 TPS of real world transactions and we do see crypto Twitter and other NFT projects. And this is the truth of the matter, listen, Currently, right now, Hedera is still undercover. Um, I like to say the idea of like, when we look at Hedera, everyone's ignoring it. And I think that this is beneficial. It's beneficial for those out there that want to continue to accumulate HBAR. Imagine this. Imagine accumulating so much HBAR under a dollar that when it does hit a dollar, you're a millionaire. A lot of people try to put a major price valuation on these tokens and say, well, if it hits like three, $5 or $8 or $10, I'll be a millionaire. But think about it like this. It's so much better to accumulate as much as you possibly can under specific targets. That way, when it does go back to even the all time high, maybe it doubles the all time high, whatever you make incredible wealth and you shed off some of that, you pocket it, whatever, secure yourself financially. That's all it's about. You don't have to bag hold forever. Make sure that you are taking profits. Make sure that you are, you know, securing yourself because it's crucial to. Now also, Hedera TVO. So this has been flatlined and I'm gonna talk to you guys a little bit about something uh, here in a second that's very important. TVL has been flatlined so far. We have these little run-ups and very similar to like a price chart. Yes, it's consolidating. I do strongly believe that TVL is about to go skyrocketing into uh, possibly like $150 million back to this level here and possibly even higher. Um, and the reasoning for this is because usually what we see on TVL and usually the, the idea around TVL is that it increases as price increases as well. Because individuals want to lock their H bar, they want to earn on their H bar while it's pumping. It's usually the same thing that happens with um, uh, even Ethereum, right? If we go back over here to chains and we go to Ethereum and we look at the TVL, so again, very similar to uh, going all the way back to like 2020 and even 2021. Like right now in 2023, this has started to go on the uptrend. We actually start to see it started 2023 out with $38.3 billion worth of TVL. This increased drastically to about $61.5 billion. This is also because the, the amount locked up is gaining value as well. So TVL will rise as prices rise as well, which I do think is another big thing to think about with HBAR TVL. Um, but this usually runs up with the prices. You guys do see here all the way into May of 2021. This is the sell-off of the summer of 2021. And then we have another run up here. TVL follows price pretty closely, I will say. Now, the important thing to look at, um, the altcoin market. Here's the daily chart for the altcoin market. This thing looks absolutely incredible. 
follow the trend what do i mean by that well here you guys have a perfect example of it following the trend look closely at the 10 daily ema that yellow line there it followed the trend followed the trend followed the trend all the way until february we lost the trend a little bit but we came back down to test the 51 day ema now we lost it here during March. This is when the bank started to collapse. It was pretty much a fake out. Everyone thought, oh, Bitcoin's crashing. It's gonna go down to this level, that level, whatever. Boom, fake out. We pumped back up. Now, currently, as we do look at this, it is still following that 10 daily EMA. And this looks very good. First off, it looks as though, yes, we could possibly see a back test of the six, um, $610 billion level. I will be totally fine with that. We come back down, grab some liquidity just to push back up to $703 billion. If we break this level back in August, we will most likely continue higher and flip this level from February 2022, as well as even going all the way back here. Like this was our support zone going back to April of 2021. Yes, candle wicks are there, but this allowed us to continue higher. I do think if we could flip this level here, we will target that next level. And ultimately, if we flip this, it's going to be extremely bullish for all coins. But even currently, as we do look at like the three day, check out the three day. This is why I'm saying that we will most likely possibly see a retest of $610 billion. This will also be a great buy-in on a lot of altcoins because we'll most likely come back down, test that 10 three-day EMA, that yellow line that we've been riding so far. Um, and this will be great, especially for altcoin buys because this will ultimately be, from our current level here, about a 6% drop. Nothing too crazy. But we'll probably back test it, come back up to $703 billion and hopefully flip that. It'll be a big level for us. And the reason why I believe that this will hold is if we go back in time, it has held up going all the way back to July of 2021. We also held on to it back here in March of 2020, 2021, sorry, before we ran up uh, to about roughly, what, what level is that? $1.5 trillion almost. Uh, so it's a big level for us. Now, if we flip that 203 day EMA, that blue line, it's going to be very bullish. We have not traded above that level. Initially, yes, we were trading back above that level back in 2022, uh, but we haven't been, we haven't broke out of it and actually traded it above it since going all the way back here to April of 2020. And during this time, well, that was the bull run. That was the altcoin market uh, run. And I'm not saying that we're going to do that, but if we break that level, I'm just saying everyone should prepare for what comes next which is anywhere between 703 to 860 billion. And then after this level up here, well, it's off to the races. Now, in terms of HBAR, so I've been following HBAR closely. With HBAR, check out the weekly. This looks also very good. A lot of people are calling for much lower HBAR price action. What's absolutely insane to me is the fact that we've already had the liquidity run. Look at this. We came back down, tested a perfect demand zone. I said that this was the perfect level for HBAR to retest. We retested it. Now we are riding the trend. Look at, follow the trend. Right now, currently, almost seven cents down to about like six and a half cents is our best friend on price action. I believe that we're going to consolidate here and then get that breakout. The breakout here will uh, be pretty big to watch because one, if we break out of eight cents, I do believe that we will target the 50 weekly EMA up there about nine cents. And if we could break out of that, well, I already told you guys, prepare for the next level, which is double digit figures in terms of the cent uh, wise. So 15 cents to roughly 19 cents is my TP on this next run up on HBAR. And currently right now, the HBAR Bitcoin price chart looks very good from my perspective because as we look at it, yes, this has been in a massive downtrend. We started to break out back here. We couldn't do it. I do believe that on this next test of the 10 weekly EMA, we will get that breakout. But I've also been looking at this from the three-day perspective, which we are trying, we are attempting. I think the three-day is probably one of the biggest ones to look at because we've already seen a double tap almost on the support zone down here. And what I'm watching for is a big break to the upside. I believe altcoins are about to run. Now, a lot of people have been asking me about like HR's price action this uh, run up. It's questionable on if we are if we are going into a wave five or not. If we are going into the wave five, I've told you guys, conservative levels are anywhere between like I, I've been mainly looking at um, three to six dollars for the longest time. 
I still believe that we could see three to six dollars, but conservative levels, if I wanted to be extremely conservative, I will say probably anywhere between uh, two dollars and I think it was like 50 cents, I believe. I'll have to look at it real quick, but two dollars and fifty cents to about roughly like a dollar uh fifty as well. So within this like dollar range up here. And the reasoning for that isn't because of you know me wanting it to go there, but if we actually go over here real quick to uh the coin uh coin perspective, if we look at this, H bar would basically be at around like a fifty-four billion dollar market cap at a dollar seventy-four. At two dollars and sixty-one cents, it would basically be at an eighty-one point one billion dollar market cap. Very similar to um, ADA, which we talked about recently, you know, ADA hit a $100 billion plus market cap on its run up back in 2021. This would essentially be a 46X opportunity run on Hedera right into the $3 plus range, which I believe could happen if we have that wave five, but it's still questionable on if we are going to get that. I still wanna see a little bit more price um, action in the market before I say anything uh, within, oh, hey, we're gonna go into a wave five, all coins are about to go parabolic. First off, HBAR needs to flip the uh, 50 weekly EMA. I haven't really looked at the monthly, uh, but on the monthly, it's right around the same range. Like we need to see 10 and a half cents being flipped for this to go on a major run up. So I'm very excited so far with the price action. I'm very happy with what has been happening here on the HBAR price uh, chart as well. Even even on the monthly by the way which by the way peak the monthly this looks solid on where we are at currently we are still being squeezed between that 10 monthly ema uh so if we could break up into this level up here and just tap between these emas and squeeze and then get that run up to about you know t uh, 15 to 18 almost 19 cents that would be huge so with that being said i hope that you guys enjoyed this video if you guys definitely have a like subscribe and notifications on if you guys have more free content you guys are more than welcome to follow me on twitter and join the free discord down in the description below uh so it's up that you all have a beautiful day or a beautiful night wherever you guys are in this beautiful world it's been nick peace out guys